All right, chaps, welcome to moving day part one. Look at this, we'll start out here to show you. Andrew's having a very good time in his digger, demolishing. Cow shed's all but gone, look. He's concentrating at the minute, can we get a wave off of him? There he is, look, having a good time with his digger. Oh yes. So what's the plan for today? Integra and Bastard, they're gonna go to the new barn. We're gonna try and get set up a little bit. And then, you know, various other stuff, wheels, uh, big ticket items, whatever I can fit in the cars. MR2 will stay here, with most of my tools and stuff for the MR2 will stay here. We're racing at Silverstone next weekend. We've got another test day, race day. There's a lot of stuff which I'm gonna be throwing away, I think. Good excuse for a tidy up, isn't it? Or it should be anyway. But yeah, we'll definitely be getting rid of some stuff. I don't know exactly what. Just the amount of wheels I've got is pretty ridiculous, really. There's eight, 10, 34 wheels just laying about. So that's quite a many, isn't it? We've got two engines, two Toyota engines. We've got about five gearboxes in bits. Should fill that with as with much stuff as what I can, but I think there's already stuff in it. I don't know, we've got, we've got room. MV2 just chilling. We get a few more bits in here, can't we? This is still full of shite from racing. Now, I want to keep it like that ideally, but we're gonna have to remove the stuff for racing and put it somewhere safe for a little bit. Yeah, I think we should probably focus on wheels, um, stuff like this, cleaning stuff, spares, stuff that I don't really need immediately. I wish I had a video of that. We've just managed to get this table on between five of us. Uh, it's gotta be at least half a ton. Was, well, I don't know. Metal heavy anyway. It took five of us to get it on. And we had to like wiggle it on. It was a right pain in the ass. Everyone's sweating. Wheelbarrow. People were asking for an update from the wheelbarrow. Are you moving your horse to the new unit? No room for little horses. You just tidy him up at the side of the bypass. That's what they do with horses, isn't it? Oh, my fingers are killing from lifting that. I've not done any lifting for ages. I've loaded this full of shite. Yeah, when I was counting wheels, I forgot about all the wheels in here as well, so I've probably got about 40 wheels, which is quite a lot, isn't it? Now, I've just realized something fun. Ideally, want to put as many panels on this as I can for transport, because it'll make it easier. So like the bumper and the, the doors, but what about the bonnet? Where's the bonnet? The bonnet has lived behind here for as long as we've been here. And I can't remember how I got it in there, whether or not I need to take this down first or not. Doesn't look like it, it would wiggle out of there, does it? Okay, the fun task of loading up the free series onto the trailer. Now my trailer's not a bad length, but you know, she's not quite got the girth of many trailers and with the uh, stance set up on the front, well, we have problems. See how this is a cap head there? On this side, it's a bolt. And if I don't remove said bolt, well, bad things can happen. Yeah, ouch. Oh, was it that one? No, it was this one. Oh, maybe I did it twice. Yeah, because it took a lump out of the tire. Not good. This thing has been sat outside since we did the bastard video, which is about two months ago, with a battery on it, which is uh, 10 years old at least. It's off in mum's car, because her car was saying, you need to change my battery, it's too old. Put it on this. Fucking no bother mate, started straight up. So, let's try and get it on. This was not me, and you can't prove it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we're all loaded up and ready to go for his first trip. Oh, tell you what, it's hot, hot, hot out here. Yeah, people have already started moving the stuff in, building shelves. Yeah, it's going all right. That's still to be patched up, obviously. All right, let's get it unloaded. We've still got loads of stuff to do today. Let's get this inside, get everything that's inside the 5 Series inside, get back up to the unit and get another load. All 
Right, first load unloaded. I just noticed this, which I'm not too happy about. There's this here, which, you know, all behind us here, the other side of the barn is all uh, fields. So, you know, what does that mean? Rats, mice and shit. So we'll try and fix that. We'll either try and block it up or do something. Anyway, let's get back to the OG and get some uh, Integras loaded up. All right, I've returned. Let's try and get at least some doors on, see if we can wiggle the bonnet out and start de-rigging the shelves. At least getting all the shit off of them and sorting it out. Let's try and get that bonnet out, shall we? I'm feeling like I might have wiggled it in, so I'm gonna try and wiggle it out, although there's one or two spiders in the way. That's a M3 steering rack, I think. Don't worry about the sign of the carbon fiber scratching. Yeah, this is on the Spotify, the Doors playlist. Yeah. Whatever. I left the bolts in the uh, bonnet. I left the bolts in and they've weathered and got real rusty and look pretty stuck. So that's not good. This, this one that came out, some heavy corrosion just from being sat where it was sat halfway in, look. Shite. Remember, drill tap can't hurt you. Right, we're gonna leave it there for today. I'll see you here tomorrow. Plenty to do, plenty to do. I've just been securing the use of a van, yeah? All right, it's day two, we've got the van. Van has been secured, yeah? Hello, sir. Quite a funny look, this is my dad's van. Got some good Friday energy going on from, you know, last time he used it, very nice. What do I need to remember today? Pies! It underline as well, just to be sure. Gets his full attention. Yeah. Got to remember the pies. All right, our first job for the day is going to be getting this out of the way at least. We'll try and push it on the ramp ourselves, but I don't think I've got the uh, the stamina nor the uh, uh, strength to do that. I'm already blowing out my ass. All I've done is put some wheels in the back of the Integra. So this should be good to go. Just put some air in this tire as well. It's a bit weak. Oh, it's still there. So yeah, filling the boot with, um, you know, 50, 60 kilos of wheels should make it easier to push up. Yeah, probably should have done this afterwards, but whatever. So we've got three MR2 wheels and two of the Advance, just chilling in the boot. All good. Right, I'm giving it some 50 PSI. All four corners, 50 PSI. I've tried to do this before on myself and it didn't work. It's so hard, <laughs> but can we push a car, a half a car, with an engine in it, of course. Can we push it onto a trailer with a, a mild incline? Right, what we have here then is big run-up energy. Probably got about 40 feet. Run, 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 push, push, push. First time as well. I'm blowing now though. We made it, I don't think we lost anything on the way, did we? Ah oh, no, my windscreen's gone. No, everything's good. Bumper's just chilling. Everyone's just chilling. Cool, well, it's a dump and run. I did get some stuff in the back of the five as well. We've got some wheels, of course. Wheels and wheels and wheels. There's loads of little birds in here fucking about. Bastards. Enjoy it while you can until the sides get shut, but I guess that's something we're gonna have to deal with for a little bit. Little birdies and that. Let's see how we can get this off.
Well, just as I was leaving there, I managed to turn the 5 Series into a Lexus look on the way out. That's nice, isn't it? Pulled up next to some, some sheepses. We're in the country again, as you probably guessed. Meh. Uh, on the way back though, hopefully I can just glue this back on. I think it got hot and brittle and then I just uh, touched it and it fell off. So that weren't very nice, was it? No, it's not, it's not that sort of affair, is it? It is, definitely. It's content. I've just got back to the unit. Why is this like this? It's got a welded dip, hasn't it? Yeah. It doesn't drive. Oh, so you were struggling to push it? Yeah. I was going to struggle to push it at the other end, so, you know. Nice that. Yeah, I reckon that'll be safe, that, no worries. Those are brand new straps. In mine. They don't feel very good, they feel a bit chintzy. Yeah. Feel? You've been buying off Amazon again, have you? I've told you about buying stuff off Amazon. Not for lifting. Supply and demand, feel this. Uh. <laughs> it's like a really cheap fake seatbelt, seat isn't belt, it? Yeah. Uh. Well, if it falls off, it falls off, doesn't it? At least you've strapped it correctly at the front. Uh. I thought you'd like that. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Well, you can't believe how many people at I've race days. Worse. People do yeah. that as on the regular. Yeah, yeah. The best thing is when you see a steel wheel and they put the hook into oh, the steel no, wheel no, and go no. down. No, I don't like this. Right, we're back in the barn. So, I've already started the tear down. I've been here about, I don't know, an hour or so, maybe. Um, so much stuff. Like, I figured when the Integra was out of the way, I could just use the area where the Integra was to pull all of this off and sort it out here, but nope. Well, you might notice things have escalated Yeah, just on the uh, boogie board at the minute. Man, so much stuff. Oh, they look all right. Well, I've upset a lot of spiders today, I tell you. Some beauties, some beauties flying about. Farm spiders. Right, does it look like I managed to get a van full yet? I have. I've got a van full. There's still so much everywhere. Damn, it really does spread out. Um, we're gonna go over anyway and drop the first load. Right, we are on with the racking look. Big lads on the job. I still wanna get more. I wanna have more shelving and wanna have more racking than what I have things to put on it. Because you probably noticed at the last unit, I had a lot of stuff on the floor all the time and it's not good. I don't wanna have stuff on the floor. Wheels and tyres, not so bad, but, you know, I don't want to have stuff on the floor, so. Anyway, yeah, just getting racked up and I've still got the van to empty. Hopefully now, I can empty some of this shite straight onto that. All right, the van's fully unloaded. Started putting some stuff on the shelves, but then realised it was 5 p.m. 5 p.m. already on the Sunday. Have I said it's hot yet? Because it's rate hot. All right, shelving fully deconstructed. Everything's loaded. Just trying to find my bottle of water because I remember me saying yesterday I was knackered. I uh, brought two today and I fucking lost one. How'd you lose a bottle of water? Well, right, water officially lost. Fuck knows. I know this is gripping stuff in it, but this is the, the second time now in a weekend I'm having to drive to the shop for a drink. What is this? Right, we've arrived. Uh, for the second time, third time, second, third, I don't know. I rate my pop. I've not had this pop for ages. Coke cherry. Going to the shop is a proper effort, and it's something I didn't used to mind doing so much on the cigarettes. But now there's no more cigarettes, so it feels weird going to the shop and just getting something. And when I make that amount of effort, I don't just want to get water. I am a big water man, but. Um, no, not Dennis Water. I write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. I like to drink a lot of water, but if I'm making the effort, I'm gonna get some pop in it because it's the right effort. But we're here once again, next to the old John. Right, all unloaded for the uh, base shelvings. Look how neat and tidy everything is here. Yeah, mega. So, yeah, future's bright. I was thinking earlier, change, you know, it's good, right? Change is always gonna happen, isn't it? Hmm? There's always going to be change, so make the best of it, eh? I try to, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do this or the other place without the help of everyone else, really. It's a team game. If you want to get your own barn, well, good luck. And make sure you've got a few of you and, you know, try and find a friendly farmer. That's all you can do. 
and it's not paradise but it's better than nothing all right part two of the barn move we've got the van again but only for one night so we're doing an after work special we're going to try and get as much moved across in the van tonight as we can hopefully just two trips but see how we get on okay load uno numo no numero uno is uh it's complete i think well we need to go and drop it off yeah this thing must be 60 70 kilos just full of hubs and arms and stuff I don't know if it looks much different to you, but definitely got a lot of stuff in the van, so let's go drop it off. Ah, the familiar sight. Should really get all this in the van as well, really, shouldn't we, while well, we've got it. Right, furniture's getting in there, but got these two ZZs to uh, kind of wrangle in the back of it, and I'm not giving myself a lot of room with this engine crane, so I'm wondering if I can just wrestle them over here and then just kind of plop them in, maybe. Just about lift it for a second, but I don't want to carry it. Trust the tire to fall Right, we're all loaded up for his final trip of this video. You don't want to see me just with the rest of the shite, do you? I'll pick it up another day, maybe. We've got quite a lot in the van. Just scraps left, really. Thinking it should be easier getting them out. Potentially more damaging at the same time. Yeah, no, that was easier for sure. Oh. Well, I think that's it for this one. We've got quite a lot of stuff moved. But I think we'll just skip ahead in time the next time you see this. Hopefully I'll have uh, some racking built and things on shelves and I'm tired. Good night. It looks pretty sad in here, so yeah, brace yourselves. Shut up, dogs. Inspector's here for one last visit. We've got that dog's proper funny, the one under the door. The other one's just yap. But... Let me firstly show you how sighted. Quick look. Do you remember this area? It's where the trailers used to live. It's where the cows used to live. There used to be a big slurry tank over in the back there. That's obviously gone. It's where the bastard used to live. Yeah. It's where the horse used to live. So Dan's come down. Well, the Dan, fabricated Dan. Not seen him for a bit, he's been busy. Hi, Dan. Fun there, Ed. Tremendous fun. No more yellow videos. Fancy that. The skylights in the new gaff are a good bit cleaner, so. My car's got the last few bits in it that I could find that I wanted to keep. So the last few things to come out are gonna be the these floodlights up the top and obviously the two post ramp. That's just coming out now. But yeah, that's it. Go for it now, mate. I'm just getting the action. I need you. Oh, what do you need me for? Lifting. Oh. Get He's a big lad. What? Can we use this for it, whatever you want. Does that impact it? She's like, I'm not. He's heavy, but she's, I'm, I'm not fucking leaving. No. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> 
It's like one of them protesters. Just yeah. stop. Just stop oil. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it then. Officially leaving for the last time. Goodbye, Autobahn V1. So next video will be oh, racing at Silverstone, I guess. I'm going to do like a little montage at the end of the video, so everyone can see our progress and all the fun that we've had. Yeah. Right, enjoy the montage. I'll see you in a future video. Thank you. Thank you, Patreons and all that. Yeah. Huh? Patreons. Patreons? Oh, yeah, they don't, they're probably on your left, I reckon. No, on your, no, on, on your right. Oh, That's probably where they are. I can switch, I can switch inside, yeah. Remember me. Yeah, right, cool. Nice. Right, so you're welcome to um, the, the place with no name. E36 already in bits. <laughs> Just doing a few little jobs to the Volvo today. Clean bolt. For a 20 year old car. You don't get that with your Hondas. Well, oh, I did like that car, yeah. Ooh, I can just about afford that. Oh yeah, fuck it, why not? And here we are. Uh, boy. I'm not sure if I can justify the expense on these segments. Cows are laughing at me, look. Steering porridge now. Okay, this shouldn't come out like this. 